district Sonhad is famous for Kundwasani Devi Temple, Hindu William, cement and carpet industries, coal mines, thermal power station and Rehan Dam. But very few people know about its rich cultural heritage, which includes numerous painted rock, shelters with thousands of paintings of different periods ranging between 8,000 years to about 500 years before present. Primitive men, residing in the mountains and forests, must have used the rock, shelters to protect themselves from the vagaries of Mother Nature. In the process of evolution, when they acquired the knowledge of art of engraving and painting, they utilized the ceilings and inner walls of these shelters as their canvas. The paintings were executed with mineral colors, which were easily available in the nearby areas. Once this activity started it continued up to the recent times and hundreds of rock, shelters were illustrated, in the meantime, all over the world. Trekking to these remote sites may be rewarding to the adventurous. With a little effort and imagination a few of the rock art sites can be developed as tourist resorts. The shelters of various sizes, which may be termed as natural art galleries, are generally located on flat hillocks, in steep cliffs or on the sites of gorges near water, falls and streams or between picturesque valleys and forests. The natural panorama surrounding these rock art sites too, is fascinating. Visitors to these galleries may appreciate the creative potential and finesse of the primitive artists, have a panoramic view of the verdant, undulating hills, the mesmerizing valley of River Sonbhad bathed in shell pink, the cascading waterfalls and enjoy the eloquently silent ambience of the forests. If they are lucky enough, they may get a glimpse of wild animals. Like deer, wild boar, bear, leopard and occasionally of tigers. It would not be out of place to point out, herein, the highly developed aesthetic sensibilities of these primitives who chose such captivating locales for manifesting their artistic talents. India is one of the richest rock art centers in the world with hundreds of rock art sites all over the country. In Uttar Pradesh painted rock, shelters are known in the districts of Chandoli, Mirzapur, Sonbhad, Allahabad, Banda, Agra, Almora, Uttarkashi and Chamoli. Sonbhad is most significant because the discovery of the painted rock shelters in India was initiated herein with the findings of ACL. Khalil in the year 1867-68, Khalil 1883, 49. After that several explorers reported numerous painted rock shelters in this district in the last 120 years. The total number of hitherto known painted rock shelters is 240, which makes district Sonbhad the second largest rock art center in India after Madhya Pradesh. The rock paintings comprise of various aspects of the life of the communities to which their painters belong. Obviously these paintings provide very useful source, material for the study of the concerned cultures. Their importance is enhanced due to the fact that the same site contains varied phases of the development of art and thus the element of continuity is helpful in the study of its evolution. It is unfortunate that these rock paintings have not been properly utilized in Indian subcontinent for the reconstruction of the cultural and art history. A few serious attempts have been made in that direction by Vakankar, Gupta, Varma, Numia and Matpal. Contemporary art is well represented in the galleries of different museums while the rock art of Uttar Pradesh is all the more neglected in this context. No though the discovery of these rock paintings started from Uttar Pradesh, yet due to the lack of desired research and publication their true significance could not be revealed, while the rock painting of Bimbetka in Madhya Pradesh region which came to light as late as 1957, has become a synonym for Indian rock art. It is worth emphasizing, here, that without the study of the rock paintings the study of evolution and development of the paintings, in general, will never be complete. This monograph is being published with a view to make people acquainted with these rock, shelters and their paintings and with the hope that more competent scholars will take up serious and comprehensive study of various aspects of these paintings. District Sonbhad, including newly created district of Sonbhad, is located between latitude 2351 and 24 degrees 41 minutes 13.79 seconds north and longitude 83 degrees 03, 33.00, e in the southeastern corner of Uttar Pradesh. Its headquarter also bears the same name as the district and is 88 km from Allahabad and 87 km from Varanasi. It adjoins the above-mentioned districts in the west and north, Sarguja, Siddhi and Riva districts of Madhya Pradesh in the south and Palama and Shahbad districts of Bihar in the east. Regular bus service is available from Allahabad, Varanasi and other cities for Sonbhad and its towns. It is connected with Allahabad and Mughalsarai by train. The southern part of the district, which is very important in the context of rock art sites, is linked with the headquarter by train and road. Allahabad and Varanasi are connected with New Delhi by air. Boarding and lodging facilities are available in Sonbhad as well as in other connecting towns referred to above. Sonipadur is the second largest district of Uttar Pradesh, India. Sonbhad is the only district in India which borders four states namely Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and Bihar. The district has an area of 6,788 square kilometers and a population of 1,862,559, 2011 census, with a population density of 270 persons per square kilometer. 
It lies in the extreme southeast of the state and is bounded by Sonbhad district to the northwest, Chindoli district to the north, Kamur and Rotas districts of Bihar state to the northeast, Garwa district of Charkhand state to the east, Balrampur district of Chhattisgarh state to the south and Singroli district of Madhya Pradesh state to the west. The district headquarters is in the town of Robert Pinch. Sonbhad district is an industrial zone and it has lots of minerals like bauxite, limestone, coal, gold etc. Sonbhad is called as energy capital of India because there are so many power plants. Sonbhad lies between Vindhya and Kamur Hills and its topology and natural environment prompted first Prime Minister of India P.T. Jawaharlal Nehru to refer to Sonbhad as the Switzerland of India Jawaharlal Nehru at inauguration of Rehan Dam. In 2017, Uttar Pradesh's Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath gives recognition to Sonbhad as a tourist attraction hub in Purvanchal region and further promoted by Uttar Pradesh Tourism Dep.